Hi, welcome back to my channel. Tamar Braxton and Tommy Lee are fighting over Tamar's man, Atlanta attorney Jeremy Robinson. And for all you love and hip hop fans, you know it's not a good idea to get into the mud with Tommy. We learned that Tommy is exposing the heck out of Tamar's man, claiming that she used the white lawyer for his money, then made him eat her groceries before kicking him out. During her recent show, Tamar Braxton gave a shout out to her man, Jeremy Robinson, and shared how she was not going to let him go that easy following their messy breakup. We first reported that Tamar and her ex-fiancé, JR, are back together after splitting in October. The duo was last seen attending the Atlanta Falcons game against the New Orleans Saints game on November 26th. Braxton previously admitted she was hurt and surprised when Robinson called it quits and stated he just wanted to focus on getting back to positive energy. The couple reunited a week after JR was spotted with Love and Hip Hop Atlanta star Tommy Lee at a basketball game. Speaking on their reunion following her online drama with the reality star, Braxton said to the crowd during her tour, That's why I had to get my man back, y'all. And I know y'all lying if y'all thought I was going to let my man go because he took some crackhead to a basketball game. While we was broke up, no ma'am. Listen. That's why I had to go get my man back, y'all. And I know y'all lying. If y'all thought I was gonna let my man go because he took some crackhead to a basketball game. <laughs> while we was broke up. No man. That was not my man. He don't owe me no loyalty when we broke up. Shit, I could have went out with his homeboy. What's up? <laughs> it's all fair game when you broke up, bitch. Don't get it fucked up. It's a good man, Savannah. Well, Tommy got upset about being called a crackhead, and so she went in on JR explaining how she took his money and then made the white gentleman eat her groceries. Tommy claims that she did JR dirty as payback for the slaves that JR's ancestors mistreated. Listen. Let's get into it. So all I said was, hi. All I said was he had a nice suit. And from there, he was thirsty. He wanted to fly me out. What's wrong with me going to a game? What is wrong with the situation is that that is your man, as you call it. That is your man. He knew it was a situation with me and you. And he was down. He was down to play op games. I wouldn't take nothing like that serious, my love. That nigga ate my ass and I sent him on his way. It wasn't the, I don't know, middle class house that he lives in in Atlanta. It wasn't the Bentleys, because I drive a Rolls Royce, that got me. It wasn't, uh, I don't know, the slick part thing he got going on. It wasn't none of that. It was when he paid for the Waldorf in points, I knew that I could no longer play this game. So it was a one-night thing. He never got no pussy. One thing, JR, you never want to play with me. You don't want me to expose how you were saying that you kicked her out and she went back to her mother's house. Not Mrs. Braxton, not Mrs. Not Mrs. Mrs. Singer with the sold out tour that JR also told me was flex. It was cap. It was she flexing. She don't have no soul. That shit between me and you was his exact words. The tour not sold out. He said you was messy. He said you went back to your mother's house. He told me a lot of things that he shouldn't tell a stranger. I just met this man less than a week. Love, if that's your man, as you say, then you need to check him. You need to really check him and check your situation and really see if you're sleeping with the enemy or not. I am not your problem. I don't know you.
wish I was drunk. I wish I was drunk right now. I wish I was drunk. Because, now, nah, fuck that. I'm about to post your shit, JR. I'm about to post your motherfucking shit, white boy. I try to just let you eat my ass for the motherfucking slaves. For the slaves, bitch. This Hawaii calling me a crackhead? I did it for, the, for us. For us. Bitch, I don't fuck pink dicks. You got me fucked up. Now, I'm about to post your shit. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section, and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated.